Well, with this week's Cardiology Countdown, we'll begin with an interesting study looking at the impact of the COURAGE trial. As everyone knows, back in March of 2007, this study found no added benefit of PCI on outcomes in stable patients as compared with medical therapy alone. And so an analysis from the Northern New England Cardiovascular Disease PCI Registry pre and post the publication of Courage, looked at the number of PCIs performed and found that there was a steady decline in total PCIs and about a 26% reduction post Courage in PCI done for stable angina. For other indications such as STEMI or unstable angina, uh, that stayed uh, roughly the same, down about 5%, but a bigger change in PCI for stable angina, and thus an apparent evidence-based change in practice. At this week's number two spot is an interesting analysis of health literacy. This was an analysis done and a survey done in the Kaiser Permanente uh, Health System, and thus everyone having insurance, in outpatients with heart failure. They used standard surveys to look at health literacy and found that uh, about 17.5% were characterized as having low health literacy. Now, these patients were older and generally sicker with more comorbidities, but interestingly, they found a higher associated uh, mortality. It was about a twofold uh, increased mortality, even when adjusting for multivariate uh, analysis of the different characteristics. Hospitalization um, was not significantly higher in the adjusted analysis. And so this calls attention to health literacy as potentially a factor in higher mortality and one that hopefully we can impact on. And as you know, CardioSource has uh, as a partner CardioSmart, where we try and boost health literacy of patients and, uh, and patients with risk factors for heart disease of important medical studies. And so encourage all of our patients to go to CardioSmart for information. And at this week's number one spot is a terrific analysis from the Swedish National Registry looking at STEMI care over the past uh, 15 years, dating back to uh, 1996 with data uh, through 2007. They looked at the use of reperfusion that increased from uh, 66% up to 79% but a much more dramatic increase in the use of evidence-based medical therapies, um, where use of statins went from 23 up to 83%. Use of clopidogrel was zero uh, initially, and that went up to 82%, and other increases in uh, other medications as well. And then, of course, they were interested to see what impact that may have had on outcomes, and they saw dramatically lower mortality rates in hospital at 30 days and at one year, with the one-year mortality going from 21% down to 13.3%. And uh, obviously, some of these will be related to the changes in care. And so I think encouraging uh, evidence from this uh, ongoing registry to see that all of the application of medical advances turns into improved outcomes for our patients. And so for this week's Cardiology Countdown, I'm Chris Cannon.